Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. I'm continuing my playthrough of the SNES classic, The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past, and now return you to the next episode, currently in progress. Awesomeness awaits. And we're back, and things look a little different, uh, because between the last episode and this one, IRL, I went and did a bunch of murder hoboing, stabbed, shot, and everything, everything I could, and you'll notice I have maxed out bomb capacity at 50 bombs, maxed out arrow capacity at 70 arrows, and a paltry 130 rubies. Uh, I'll be taking care of that in a minute. I love that. Alright, because uh, what I'm going to do is, if you remember a few episodes back, I was trying to get back into the catacombs where, you know, we snuck the princess out. Because there were two sections of wall that you could blow up with a bomb, except at that particular juncture, we did not have any bombs. And I knew there was a way to get back there, but I couldn't remember what it was. And I finally, finally got uh, everything squared away, and... You can't really get to it until you get the power glove because you, oh, that I can't believe I did that. Oh, oh no 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 no! That's not how any of this is supposed to go. Sorry, I'm probably going to be uh, releasing one of the Fey and getting a uh, magic potion in a minute. So. You need the power glove to get into the graveyard. And there's a couple other places you can get into it, like down, down, there, that way. A any of the light-colored stones. And you want to get to this grave in the top left. And when you push on it hard enough, you get this little entrance back down into the catacombs. And, uh... I almost forgot that, uh, I don't know if you noticed, some of these cracks have a little circle around them. If, uh, that means that they're especially weak, that it, you can charge and break them as well. Not all of them will do that, but there are a few that will. And, uh, while we're here, we'll, uh, get one heart and two hearts. Uh, one of the ones on the left, I can't remember if it's the left that gives you bombs and the right that gives you arrows or the other way around, but since I'm maxed out, I'm not going to open those just yet. Uh, that way they're there for later. But what I will do is grab this middle chest that has 300 rupees, because uh, that's going to come in handy. That's going to come in real handy, uh, especially once we get to the dark world. I don't have much that I'm going to buy right now, but the only way into one of the dungeons in the Dark World is to bribe a dude with uh, 110 rupees. Otherwise, he, he won't. Uh, he's the only way to get into the entrance. Yeah, I think one of these had a heart under it, too. Because uh, I seem to be struggling with the, uh, the hit points. Well, not struggling with the money. That's all right. I'll just knock down the tree because every one of those apples that you knock out, it's it's not just a cute little thing. It's uh, also, um, I guess, I guess. And there we are, right back where we started off. And I think it was this one. Yep. Every apple is a heart's worth of life. So if you find yourself low on hearts, um, and I forgot to mention when we first started pushing these trees around uh the the trees will the trees are consistent in what they knock down in other words if it knocks down an apple it will always knock down an apple if it knocks down a rupee it will always knock down a rupee and so on and so forth uh one of the other things though that is very interesting. 
is you get something like... Hang on, let's take care of these guys. Uh, is it this one? No, it's the next one up. Some of them, not all of them, but some of them, if you hit it, it's going to do one thing, like a swarm of bees. Sorry. Oh, come on. Maybe it won't be alright. Uh, but if you pull on it, it'll give you something else. That kind of neat. Alright, let's get, uh, let's, alright, now that we got all that squared away, I know, I know, I, I should have mugged him for all the rupees he had. But uh, I've been doing a little too much of that lately, and I would like to get back to the, uh, okay, nope, not that one. Uh, this way, and then here. There we go. I just remember it was off to the southeast-ish. Okay. Okay. Now we're at those last couple of pixels. Alright, let's, uh... Oh. Ow. Well, I should have gotten the magic potion earlier before I got up here, but I'm not too fussed about that just yet. I mean, except for those guys falling. Uh, for whatever reason, I absolutely mind-blanked about this ladder up here. This was... This big, obvious ladder up there. Uh, we needed to go up here. And then we got a few little caves like this guy here. And one of these had a couple of hearts and some rupees. And But there's guys like uh, these uh, Maldorons, I think, there. Of course, I say that and I keep thinking of the D&D &D critters that uh, come from the, the, the land uh, or... Yeah, the plane of law. Never mind. It, it's a D and D thing. E either you get it or you don't. Uh, but one of these. Oh, there we go. And yeah, that's what I thought. There was that one, and then one of the other ones had. I think it was a piece of heart. That might be the one to the right of this one. Yeah. Because there's two pieces of heart on the mountain that we need to get. So that was the f that was the little cave of fairies, which is a good way to stock up if you if you're short. Uh, depending on if you're trying to do this as a speed run, or or you know something vaguely faster. That that is a. Uh, Oh, was it here or here? I think it was here. Yes, okay. <clears throat> and, um, yeah, it, it's a good way to stock up on uh, the Fae. A and, you know, because they will save your life. Here we go. And then we got our piece of heart. We're halfway to another heart. John Jr., it is I, Zerthor. You must somehow make your way to the top of Spectacle Rock. From there, you can reach the Tower of Hera on top of Death Mountain. Um, the aptly named Spectacle Rock is a pair of rocks that look kind of like um, 8-bit spectacles. In truth, I... I actually, I probably, I probably could have dropped down that floor. Uh... Because not all pits in this game are bottomless pits. Some of them, and we'll get to more than a few of them before too long. Uh, some of them are set up. So you have to fall down the floor. You have to fall through the hole to get to a particular spot. So yeah, we got... It looks kind of like a, a funny set of spectacles. Hmm. And was it in here? That the, no, yeah, this was the other side. Okay. Um, okay. 
sorry. Uh, this chasm will be uh, something. <laughs> something will have an easier way across before too long. We're we're not quite at the hook shot yet, but we're getting close. So remember that we got those spectacles there. We've got that funny looking thing in the middle there. And that is what I was trying to remember. It's not the mirror that sends you to the dark world. It's the other way around. The mirror gets you from the dark world back to the light in up wherever you happen to be standing. These tiles will warp you between the two. So you find this one, you get here, and... Oh! Here you are in the dark world. Uh-oh. What do you want? Do you have something to say to me, silly rabbit? I came here to get the power of gold, but now I'm a freak and I can't go back to the real world. If only I had the moon pearl from the Tower of Hera, I could go back to my original shape. I've got good reason to be stressed out, so back off. Shoo shoo. Oh, who are you, Mr. Bunny? This world is like the real world, but evil has twisted it. The golden power is what changed your shape to reflect what is in your heart and mind. I'm always changing my mind, so I turned into a ball. But if you have a ball called the Moon Pearl, you can keep your original shape here. Hmm. You don't say. I'm kind of glad that there's nobody else, because if you'll notice, I, I have no sword. I can't use my items. I uh, guess I really need that Moon Pearl. So if I come over here to the Magic Mirror, I can use that. It brings me back, and it leaves that spot. Uh, that spot right there will send me back to where wherever I set up the mirror in the the dark world. You found a piece of heart. Yay. Uh, let me just double check one other thing real quick. Because I can't remember. Uh, okay, yeah. This is, we're not quite, we're not quite there yet. It is time to get up my notes on the Tower of Hera. Because uh, we are about as well as we can get. Uh, I do want to get, no, I want to get the something useful like a boomerang. Uh, I've not been using the Ice Rod, although that is going to be handy, and it's going to be even more handy in a little bit. It just burns through magic, and I don't have an easy way to uh, recuperate that. And, and so, yeah, it's going to be boomerangs and arrows and bombs, oh my. I, I stick with the boomerang because it is unlimited. So now I can jump down to this side of Spectacle Rock, and we can get in here. And there's the Tower of Hera. Those guys, there is a way to deal with them, uh, but it uses magic. We've got this little monolith right here. First, I need to get the Book of Medora. Hold up the Master Sword and you'll get the Magic of Aether. Is that where we meet the Aether Bunny? Okay. Sorry, I couldn't help that one. So, we're going to have to kind of keep uh, keep an idea in the back of our mind. Once we get the lat, we're going to get the third pendant here. Because uh, if you'll notice, I only get two of the three pendants. So we'll get the last pendant here. Then we'll be able to go back to the Lost Woods and claim the Master Sword. And then... And no one then. And then... We're going to be able to come back here and amongst a bunch of other places and pick up stuff that you can only get when you have the Master Sword. Uh, with these guys, by the way, you can't do anything to actually harm them until you sprinkle them with some magic powder. Then they turn into something you can deal with. But uh, that, uses up, uh, that uses up magic. And these guys, we can't do anything about just yet. Not until we get a mallet. So uh, we'll, we'll, we'll come back to those guys a little bit later. 
I just wanted to point out that those were there and that we will be coming back to them once we get uh, equipped a little bit better. All right. Here we go. Into the Tower of Hera. Dun, dun, dun. And it's our favorite game, puzzles. We got these little blue blocks that are up and those little orange blocks that are down. And these guys, switches. When it's blue, the blue blocks are down and the orange blocks are up. When it's red, I think that was supposed to be orange, but it looks kind of red. Uh, it's reversed, so we got our little trip down that way and our trip up that way. Uh, we got some nasty guys floating around. And a telepathic tile. Okay, good. I, I forgot that the bad guys stayed still. I don't know, Junior. It is I, Sasha the Elder. I have some advice. In the dungeons, you can gaze into the magic mirror to return to the entrance at any time. Do not forget this. Alright, so that is, that is that is a good note. Now that we have the magic mirror, in addition to being a way to warp back to the light world from the dark world, it is a tool that will let us skip back to the top of the dungeon whenever we need the opportunity. And there are a couple, there are a couple of dungeons where that comes in real handy. Let's uh, take care of some of these guys. Can I? There we go. I'll take that. These guys are going to be fun later. Let's also... Da -da 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 -da. You got the map. There we go. So now we got the map. We know that we got six floors to worry about. And we are curiously on floor two. So let us first head down to the first floor. <laughs> first head down to the first floor. Yeah, let's first head down to the first floor. And we need to get that. And then down... And we got some people here to deal with. Oh, come on. Oh, I forgot. You can trigger that with the... Uh, with the boomerang, too. I really got to keep better eye on my light life, though. Uh, except I think I want that the other way around. Yeah, there we go. Alright. And then, and knowing that. Wait, there's a door near the map that we need to get. If I am remembering correctly. All right, yep. There's that door there. And, and then, yeah. That brings us down to the other part of the first floor. This is where you start going. I get a bad feeling about this. Oh. For some reason, I thought uh, this was like the other ones where you could duck into the door frame just enough that these guys wouldn't kill you. But uh, it appears I was wrong, so I'll just uh, let's keep doing this. Seems to be working out for me. Ow. Maybe not. Yeah. At least I have three, uh, three of the Fey in my back pocket. Uh, nope. Usually. Usually, uh, some of those guys have have, um, hurts. Words. I don't, I don't even have the excuse of having, a, having had a long day. I, I had a mostly, uh, there we go. I had a mostly relaxed day.
Oh, that's right. I forgot that the uh, the red ones are a little bit tougher and can throw stuff at you. Hi, friend. Oh. Oh, that's right. They gave you the magic because you need to use the lamp to go one, two, three, four. Da 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 da. You got the big key. It's the master key of the dungeon. It can open many locks that small keys cannot. All right. So here's the question: Do uh, I? I'm. I'm moderately tempted to, oh, you know, I don't technically have to walk all the way back. I could have worked, oh, yeah. Oh, that's probably a bad thing to keep, uh. Well. I thought uh, using the mirror was going to be optional, but apparently, no, it's not. Because <laughs> you get locked in the door. Oops. Well, I guess, since I'm all the way here. I know it's a little bit of a pain, but I am going to go this way. And not this one. But this one. Because... The... Oh. I was coming to get the fairies to heal. But, uh... Yeah, first you gotta live through those guys to... First, you gotta go live through those guys to get there. Hello. Thank you. I wonder. Oh, I was hoping it would work there. Okay. Alright. Now let's get back to the Tower of Her. I don't think I'm gonna finish the tower in one episode. It took me a little too long to get there. I, I should have cut it as a short episode and, uh,. I, I hate doing those episodes where we don't really accomplish that much but talk. Uh, mostly because being who I am, talking doesn't seem like uh, I accomplish much. I'm sure there's something uh, all, all the psych trained people in the background are going, mm hmm, tell me more. <laughs> when do you say? No, don't do that to me. All right. Let's zip back over to the dark world. I still wish you could lift up the the shrubs at least or something. Hi guys, I don't want to talk to you right now. Alright. We're back in the light world. And you know what? Instead of getting into the middle of the dungeon and then going, oh, let's, uh, I guess we're just going to have to stop. We've taken care of the first and second floors and there is where I'm going to take a short break. Well, that was fun. And I hope you had fun too. Next episode should roll out tomorrow unless tomorrow is a live stream day current schedules over on my Twitch profile. There's a link in the description below. If you haven't already, follow me there. You'll get notified when I go live, and you'll be able to chat along as we record the next six episodes. You'll also be able to join along for some of the other stuff I do on Twitch. It's all up there on the channel. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel here. It really helps out. If you click the bell, you get notified of all the other stuff that goes up on the channel as well, like CoffeeCraft Livestream Archives, Future Games Revisited Episodes, and uh, various other stuff that strikes my fancy. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, quips, queries, quotes, comments, complaints, or quibbles, leave them in the comments below. Have fun, enjoy, and I'll see you next time.